Drugs? In your school? Probably. And you likely know the trouble drug and alcohol abuse can cause. Intoxicated students are disruptive, difficult to handle, and sometimes a danger to others. Intoxicated co-workers are even more unsafe, considering their responsibilities and position as role models. I remember back when I was in school. So good. Hey, you want to go outside and knock back a cold one with me? Um, no. No, thank you. <laughs> All right. Suit yourself. Who was that? A senior? No. That was my third period teacher. Oh. While drug and alcohol use by your students or co-workers is never really funny, it is a reality you most likely will have to deal with. So, what is your role when it comes to drugs and alcohol in schools? Drug and alcohol awareness in schools. During the school week, your students may interact with you more than any other adult in their lives. This puts you in a special position. You may have a unique insight into a student's state of mind, which means your influence could make all of the difference to a child struggling on the edge. The same goes for your co-workers. Your attentiveness could remove a serious hazard in your workplace, as well as help your co-worker get treatment. Just the facts. Addiction affects millions of Americans, including children. A recent survey reported that one in four students had their first drink of alcohol before age 13. One in five students have used marijuana at least once in the past 30 days. And about one in eight students have sniffed glue, breathed aerosols, or inhaled paint or other sprays to get high one or more times during their life. So what's it gonna be this week? So what does all this mean? A minority of people use drugs and alcohol, but because some people do have a problem, it's important for you to understand how addiction starts, the warning signs of abuse, and the common drugs that are abused. You also need to know how to handle and prevent drug abuse in your school. Many people consider alcohol to be a drug, so we'll use the term drug abuse to cover both drugs and alcohol. About addiction. The first thing you should know about drugs is they don't discriminate. The stereotype that addicts are morally weak or are delinquents is just that, a stereotype. Addiction affects both men and women, the young and old, the rich and poor, and people of every race and cultural background. So the honor roll student and the well-liked teacher can become an addict just like anyone else. Look, it's not like I have a lot of drug use. I mean, I teach freshman classes eight hours a day, five days a week. I'm entitled to have something to help me relax at the end of the day. I can stop using any time I want or need to. The other important thing you need to know, drug addiction is not just a lot of drug use. Drug addiction is not a matter of willpower. It's actually a disease of the brain. Now stay with me on this one. When it comes to drugs, the progression moves from use to abuse to addiction. Although in the beginning, someone may choose to take drugs, over time their brain chemistry and circuitry changes, which can interfere with the person's ability to make decisions about whether or not to take the drug. Basically, your brain is wired in such a way that if you do something pleasurable, you tend to do it again. 